realize I haven't really gone through and done a full kind of walk through of my Mandarin tank, which is a very um, homemade and super cheap uh, system that I put together. You can see inside here, it's mostly Terrarium, uh, which is like a branching GSP. And for flow, I just have this uh, one, I believe it's an ice cap 1K gyre. And it provides really good flow. So I was about to do a little maintenance in here. Um, so I'm gonna, first of all, I'll take out whatever's left inside here which if the tank doesn't eat all that. I have a bristle tooth in here that helps keep things clean. And then I change the, um, the filter pad down here. And uh, then I test the water, that's it. Or I empty the cup too if it's, it needs to be changed. So I don't use any filter socks in this tank. It's just a carriage that holds uh, just some uh, poly uh, fill sheets like batting that I pick up at Walmart. I change it about every two days but you can see that it picks up a lot of dirt. And I haven't gone into a cup so it, it keeps the uh, I don't know it just keeps the sound down actually I'm not sure why. And you can see right here so this is the, over, the emergency overflow and that's the main drain right there. And if you look what I did, I mean, this is really just a uh, a large Sterilite container um, that I separated with baskets, right? So water's flowing down into this basket here, which holds the uh, floss. And then it goes down into here, which is filled with biological media and amphipods. And then it flows into this basket here uh, which is um, filled with Kato. I'm not really using the Kato for uh, nutrient export, although it helps, but it's mostly for um, amphipods. And then it's full of uh, coral, a rock, uh, and for extra filtration. Then it goes into this chamber where there's a basket, a separate basket. Um, actually, there's like some, uh, some of this matting. Uh, I forgot what this plastic filtration thing is called but just to slow down the flow and I literally just slipped in a piece of uh, this inert plastic in here it's like an HTPE uh, like a cutting mat but this is here just so that some stuff goes into this old skimmer and the rest of it goes into this uh, M1 that's down there and that goes and it feeds through this pipe back up to the tank. And this is just, um, the tank is a 40 gallon breeder. Uh, the lights are out now. But this is just an old, uh, or not a, uh, a Lowe's stand. Fits the 40 gallon exactly. I mean, like it's from here to here. Just fits right in there. And then for dosing, yeah, here's the uh, control for the M1. Um, Got a Camor Bluetooth doser, and I use All for Reef to. Uh, so there's a new one, new bottle right here. This one's almost out. And then this is a uh, five gallon uh, glass top off. And I use an Auto Aqua down in here to keep everything topped off look inside here so basically this is just a piece of foam and there's egg crate this is a fluolite this thing actually grows kato surprisingly so I harvest the kato about every uh, I don't know two weeks and but all of the rubble is purposely above the water line so that everything has to flow through it and then amphipods get stuck in there and they'll travel through the little holes in the basket uh, and hopefully over to here and up into the tank 
freaking Mandarin. I mean, really cheap setup. I mean, everything in here cost me, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks for this whole sump. Um, I mean, not, not talking about the equipment, but just the setup. I mean, it was just zip ties. And this basket I found at um, Daiso I had these nice big holes. So I put this, it's like a knitting mesh. And that works great. I just have this in here for it just so I can lift it up and dose. Um, I do dose Microbacter 7 and uh, refuel into this tank to keep the nitrates, uh, the um, phosphates and nitrates down. But it works great. And I mean, it bows a little bit because it's, it's not as strong as the Rubbermaid, but it's food grade. And then it's covered up uh, with this nice piece of wood here that has magnets on the other side that just clamp onto, onto the metal here. Same thing for the top. And so you can see what light I use. I got a, an AI uh, Hydra 56 HD. So, and I got a little shelf that I put in here so that has all my temperature controls and everything kind of messed up, just pushed inside here so it's out of the way. So yeah, so that's, I call it the Mandarin tank, but there is an angel in there and a clown. And this is where I put all my anemones and any of the uh, frags and mushrooms and stuff that I bring out of my display tank. I put it in here. So this is my office, right? So it looks really cool with all the barbarium growing everywhere. And yeah, so this, is, this tank works great. Really simple. And that skimmer, that's a Nax 5, I think. Let me see if it says, is it a NAC 5? Got a piece of carbon. No, NAC 6. Picked that up from a guy used like three or four years ago for like 50 bucks. And it's still cranking away. I mean, like it's, it does exactly what it needs to do. It's awesome. Super cheap setup. Got a couple of heaters in here. Keep everything around. Uh, 78 actually I keep it around 77 so no nothing's on right now so but that's a good good place for everything <laughs>